Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to another LEGO Super Mario unboxing. This is per Series 4. Um, so half of the set are water themed or beach themed like this one, which is the Dory's Beachfront. Dory's the Plesiosaurus here you get a ride. Um, there's another one with Big Urchin and a Dolphin. Uh, the other half is Luigi's Mansion. Um, so you can check out that one. So if you're not really a fan of Luigi's Mansion or you didn't buy that, you can at least still buy the Mario Beach front, which is really cool. Um, this one has a lot of littler stuff um, going around more like so you can add and build up your beach or your water area. Um, you have some bunch of different things. The other big mechanic, um, of course we have Hucket Crab as well. The big mechanic is we have the numbered blocks. We can return from one of the older sets. There's a one, two, and three, and we'll look at each one of those. Uh, but that's a really fun mechanic that they added in here. Um, and it's neat that you can get a second one. Now, I don't think that... I think that they're all going to be the same. So, like, a one block from this set should be the same as a one block from the other set. Um, after I get done showing off this, I'll grab one quick, and I'll, I'll double-check that. Um, but they shouldn't be, like... They shouldn't be interchangeable but it's neat because then you can set up more different ones or if you didn't get the older set so this gives you an option to get that um so all right let's take a look at what we got here so i don't have any of it set up with the i have all my my uh, extra pieces here just because these are all modular and all these are little tiny different ones you have to interact with i didn't feel like rearranging it all but you can put it in whatever order you want but we're just going to go through and look at all the different little mechanics that we got so, of course, we have Mario, and then we have Dory, the plesiosaur. Uh, it's really neat. You actually did a ride on this. So, we hop on. Kind of, you get water sounds. A little bit of music. So, you're supposed to, like, drive around, and you can occasionally hop out, and then... Knock Mario out when you tip him off because you're being dumb. So the idea is that uh, with this is you can travel to all these different little little tiny islands or between them. Um, so we got this neat new uh, water spout, which is kind of cool. This one just like an aesthetic one. Um, so if we're going to look at our different things, we have scoot this one out of the way. You have like little sandcastles. So the idea is you get to come up to this and you got to beat on the sandcastle. So either you could try and knock on it with the plesiosaur, or you can have Mario do it. I'm just going to Mario hop off. And then you're supposed to ram into it with either one of them. And it breaks the sandcastle apart. And we have our number one block. And then when we collect a number one block, yeah, so we have a number one. And you can collect it multiple times. It's not going to make that big of a difference. So I'm just going to reset my sandcastle here. It's kind of neat. It's one of the few times you actually have you destroy one of the sets. Alright, then we have to find block number two. So block number two is we'll go over to this little island here. And it's like, oh look, there's a little stone block island. I don't see anything. And then now, if you jump on that, then it pops the block out for you. So now you got number two. Otherwise, normally if it's this way, it's hidden and you can't reach it. So you got to plop on there. You know, you can have Mario do it, or you can have your plesiosaur jump on there and do it. Either way. And then to find the third one, we scoot over to this palm tree. And we ram it. And then it knocks the block off the back. And then when we collect block number three... We gain a bunch of coins for collecting all three of them. And then you get a few for each one. So they're kind of neat. So they're like normally regular little coin blocks. But then you also gain more if you collect all three. But there's also not like a massive time limit. Um, so in one of the other sets there's like red coin blocks. 
but you have to get each one in a little set time. These ones, it's just, oh, whenever you collect them, so they're scattered all, you just, it just registers if you've collected all three of them. Um, what's awesome about the tree is so it has a double-sided, and then they're just hanging out these little black things. Um, so you can hang one on there, and then depending on which way it knocks over, it'll tip it off. Um, but you can put any other different type of block up here if you want to put a POW block, star block, um, mushroom block, coin block. Uh, whatever type of block you want to hang on there. Uh, you could also be mean and put an enemy on there. Um, if you catch like, maybe a little tiny like Goomba or something, that might be kind of funny. Um, and then the last one we have, or you can have like this Hucket Crab sitting up there. Oh, you hit the tree and a Hucket Crab fell, fell out. Like, that'd be kind of funny. So then the last thing we get is this. We have a little island as well. You can add somewhere else. Um, and then we have a little turtle shell here. I'm just going to set that off to the side. So you set the Hucket Crab just in the middle so he's not attached. And then Mario can come over here. And if it's aimed right, like you have this set up properly. It's supposed to shoot out and knock him off. I just never seem to hit these hard enough. Um, I know they're Legos and they have some durability. I'm just really odd about he's bashing my toys, I guess. Uh, well, if it works, it would knock him off. That's what it should do. <laughs> and then you have Huck the Crab. You just jump on him to defeat him. One hit. Nothing extra special there. Uh, so yes, there's not a ton of stuff going on in this set. Um, but the little shell mechanic is kind of neat because it's also cool because you can set up anybody else on there. It doesn't have to be the Hucket Crab. You can put other bad guys on there. Uh, villains. Um, the number blocks are neat. Plus the little tree mechanic. You can hide stuff. Even just even still, you can hide other power blocks in there or coin blocks. Um, as long as they're that size, they're not too big. Um, one of the Lego League Imagine set comes with diamonds. You can put the diamond set in there. Um, it also does come with some of the red coins. Uh, they're on tiles. You can always take those tiles off, put them on a different, like a 4x4 four four block or whatever. Make your own red coin blocks. Um, if you, you, depending on how much you feel like taking sets apart versus just having them be modular. Um, so you can kind of see on the box how they sort of have it set up. Is it like you come over, you knock over the castle. Uh, huck it, shell can knock him over. You can kind of scoot over there, get that one, then get part three. Um, and then even this one on the back is set up a little bit differently because you have the pipe. Then you knock out the crab first, then get your two blocks, then go back for the tree, then go to the exit. But that's what makes this fun. It's all modular. You had your base sets, you have more stuff to do, all that. Um, so that's really cool. Alright, uh, not a very long video, but that is Mario Dory's Beach Run. Uh, check out the rest of the videos. See you guys later. Bye!